All right. So good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to our M4 Spotlight for today. We're going to feature Charleston Forge, and we have a representative uh, who is Andrew. And I'll let you introduce yourself and carry on your presentation. Thanks, Jimmy. Um, I'm Andy Beekman with Charleston Forge, and uh, thanks for the opportunity here to just uh, talk a little bit about what, what it is that we do and hopefully provide an opportunity for us to uh, meet some of the members in your community uh, through the process of uh, employment. Um, just, uh, I'll give a little bit of a background on myself and, and then dive into Charleston Forge, uh, just so you understand how I ended up here. Um, I uh, was a, a student of mechanical engineering and uh, found myself with a love of um, furniture and migrated from the world of uh, circuit boards to, uh, which is obviously pretty high tech, to um, a little bit more low tech uh, furniture, but have really enjoyed that and have been with Charleston Forge uh, for about 10 years. I started here uh, doing uh, CAD drawings and product design and uh, through the years worked worked through the process of um, becoming general manager and now manage our hospitality and contract division, which deals mostly with um, hotels and restaurants and things of that nature. Um, so we do we do make furniture and uh, we've been doing it here in Boone for almost 40 years. Our founding uh, founding couple, Art and Susan Barber, uh, were students of Appalachian State. They were actually a high school sweethearts. Uh, went to college together up here in Boone and um, left for a brief period of time, but ultimately fell in love with this area and fell in love with the idea of uh, starting a business here. They opened up a fireplace shop making custom fireplace screens for a lot of the second homes here that had big grand stone fireplaces and they would make these custom fit fireplace screens and fireplace tools that were all um, sort of blacksmith artisan made pieces and they gained quite a reputation for excellent customer service and for excellent craftsmanship. And at one point uh, they they got a request to make a little storage rack for a kitchen and they built the, what became the first baker's rack and that baker's rack became more popular ultimately than uh, the fireplace screens and the fireplace tools and all of a sudden uh, a furniture business was born from that. <clears throat> and uh, fast forward now to almost 40 years later, uh, we've we've grown to be about 90 employees and uh, we make handmade furniture here uh, every single day. Um, our furniture is sold throughout the US and Canada, primarily um, in independent furniture stores. Um, we also do a lot of work with uh, companies like Starbucks. We provide furnishings for the Starbucks stores. If you've been to one of the local ones um, around this area, you've probably seen uh, Charleston Forge uh, tables and possibly chairs in those as well. So um, that's that's just a little snapshot of what we do. And um, I'll uh, go into a little bit of a presentation so you can get a sense of what the product looks like. And then we can talk about uh, specific uh, job opportunities. Uh, that we have. So I'll go ahead and share my screen. While you share that, I'm going to ask yeah. for everybody to hold your questions till the end, but go ahead, you can okay. share that. Oops. Okay. okay. Hopefully that came up. Can you see that, Jimmy? Yes, we can see it. Perfect. Okay. So move on. So here's our uh, our founding our founding couple, Art and Susan Barber, as I described them. And um, here's just a few snapshots in our factory. So one of the things uh, that is critical to what we do are welders. We actually have about 15 welders on staff, and you can see um, one of our uh, oldest uh, or longest longest uh, running welders here, Ernie. Um, putting together one of our drink tables. Um, we MIG weld everything. And uh, it's common for us to have folks come in our doors with very little welding experience. Um, so we may start them out in a more entry level position, but teach them the skills of 
welding and that's certainly a popular thing to do welding is a skill you can certainly take with you your whole life and um, as i said we have about 15 of those positions typically um, this is our forging department so we actually hire um, blacksmiths and once again this is a position that we commonly train for as you can imagine not a lot of folks come in off the street with a lot of blacksmithing experience but you never know um, it seems like there's a uh, there's rising popularity in um, knife making and uh, we do have some folks that come in with some forging or blacksmithing experience um, you can see on the far left here uh, we've got uh, one of our uh, forging team members using a power hammer to texture metal. Um, we try to automate this as much as possible using the power hammers. However, it is, it is uh, we do certainly bring the anvil out every now and again. Um, it's a pretty cool uh, fact that we have blacksmithing happening in a modern way. Um, it's thousands of year old craft and um, as much as we try and automate it, um, we still um, have those manual processes and it is very much a an art form. So. Um, that is certainly a big part of what we do and what makes us special is that we have the ability to texture and bend and taper uh, steel like this. Um, again, some more of our welders assembling furniture. And then some of our final assembly operations. So you can see on the left here, uh, Ruby is assembling one of our bar stools, uh, Joel doing wood finishing. Um, we do finish all of our own, uh, all of our tabletops and things of that nature in house, and then we do metal hand painting, which is something that um, makes us stand out as well. So there's a wide variety of um, employment opportunities um, that don't necessarily um, that aren't necessarily directly tied to metal fabrication. We also have um, the assembly and then wood fabrication and upholstery type operations as well. Um, here's a, just a quick fun video kind of shows a little bit of the inside of our factory and talks about what we do so i'll let that play So anyway, just a quick fun video, you know, as uh, we all were affected by the, the virus, we started putting together some videos so that we could convey what, what we do to our customers and 
Um, that was a really fun one that gets a good response. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, here's just a just a quick look at the finished product, right? So at the end of the day, uh, we make beautiful furniture. It's um, it's high quality. It's at the middle to upper end of the market, and um, every piece is made to order. So uh, everything that we ship out is done in the customer's choice of metal finishes and wood finishes and upholstery. So nothing is kept in stock in the warehouse. Everything is built for an order. Um, and every piece is unique. So it sort of carries the story of the craftsman that put it together. Each hammered leg of a table is a little bit different and that's that's what makes us special. Um, desks, some dining tables, uh, bar stools and chairs. All of this, as you can see, because we're Charleston Forge, has a forged uh, metal element to it. Um, drink tables are a big part of our business, just small side tables that have a lot of character and look. Occasional tables. Um, one thing I'll mention is that we do uh, the, the vast majority of our own photography. So uh, another uh, employment opportunity for folks that are familiar with photography or uh, graphic design or photo editing. Seating, um, the chair in the upper right Corner is one of our best sellers, a really nice looking mid-century modern chair. Um, storage, etagers, beds. Um, we work with designers to help bring really cool product to market. So although we design some things internally, we um, work with designers like Katie Skelton, or we partner to uh, brand product um, with, say, Jarrett Bay, who is a, a boat builder. Uh, in North Carolina, Heather Daly, another contributing designer, and then we have licensed brands with uh, the Greenbrier, um, obviously um, important resort and historical for this region. Um, here's a couple top sellers, uh, bar stools, the ellipse table, and um, really nice contemporary looking pieces from Katie Skelton. All this is built here in Boone. Uh, custom is a huge part of what we do. So we have a catalog line of products, uh, but we also allow customers to change the shape of pieces, change what uh, the top material is. Uh, we can work from a napkin sketch. Um, one of the cool things about our staff is that we do hire uh, quite a few uh, furniture designers, and um, that's another job opportunity, and you essentially uh, design and engineer ways to make these custom pieces come to life. Um, here's some illustrations of some really neat custom pieces we've done recently. Um, you can see most of these images are residential, so uh, most of our furniture does go into homes. Um, everything we do is uh, made with real materials and solid materials. As I said, it's we build a quality product. So we use solid wood, we use solid steel. Um, glass, we actually have a uh, partnership with a, a glass company in Mount Airy and we sell quite a bit of specialty glass, uh, very thick glass, laminated glass and textured glass. Crackled glass, uh, cast glass, which is made by pouring uh, molten glass into a mold. You can see all those really cool bubbles trapped in it. Um, product for us generally ships in four to six weeks. Um, community involvement is important to us. Uh, we obviously uh, collaborate with uh, universities and colleges throughout the state. Um, we collaborate with the design department at Appalachian quite a bit. Uh, we just did an apprenticeship program um, with Watauga County High. Um, we uh, contribute to the Middle Fork Greenway by providing benches and then the restoration of the Appalachian Theater. Uh, community involvement is a huge, huge part of what we do and why we do it. Um, sustainability. Uh, we use recycled steel to build our furniture. Um, all of our wood comes from uh, USDA certified forests, so um, three trees are planted for every one that's harvested. Uh, our forges are heated using propane, which is very efficient. Um, we uh, we manufacture, we have a, excuse me, we have a package uh, manufacturing line here. So every time we have a custom piece of furniture, we can create a package that's made uh, to fit it exactly. So there's not a lot of waste. 
and we try very hard to keep all of our suppliers as close as possible to our manufacturing facility. 90% are within 100 miles of where we work. Um, and we have a hospitality division, so this will just touch on uh, what we do for uh, commercial spaces like restaurants and hotels and offices. We do a lot of conference tables. Here's a few examples. Reception desks, executive desks and credenzas. We actually do uh, lecterns for speaking engagements when times are a little bit more normal. And chairs. Uh, here's a few examples of items that we've done for restaurants like Starbucks. Uh, wineries. And then here's some examples of that specialty glass. It's really cool, uh, thick glass textured countertops. This is something that we do. Um, dividers for commercial spaces. And that's just a um, just a quick little overview of uh, the product that we make. Um, just a few things to touch on. Some of the benefits to working at Charleston Forge. Uh, we obviously uh, work and live in a beautiful place, as you all know, the town of Boone, North Carolina. Um, our factory is pretty centrally located. We're in walking distance to the Greenway Trail and the soccer fields. Um, we offer on-the-job training for all positions, and as I said earlier, it's uncommon for us to have somebody come in with all the skills that we need, so it's uh, very common for us to train folks up. Um, we offer part-time opportunities uh, for students uh, as well as full-time opportunities, and we do now have a second shift uh, which operates from um, 2 o'clock uh, in the afternoon until 10.30 in the evening. Um, and then we also have opportunities during the summer break. Uh, for students as well. Um, you can learn a trade uh, that you can take with you and build upon your entire life. Um, as I said earlier, you know, the ability to learn on hands welding or uh, blacksmithing in our facility is something that you can certainly take with you forever. Um, we offer a, a nice uh, array of benefits, including uh, a health insurance stipend, a 401k with a match, and a paid vacation. And then here's just a few um, examples of positions that are very commonly offered, uh, forging and blacksmithing, um, metal cutting and bending. So uh, we didn't touch on this too much in the video, but we do operate um, five uh, automated saws which cut steel to length before it goes into the next operation. Um, requires um, certainly an attention to detail and the ability to utilize measuring tools um, very common position there. Welding, uh, the majority of it is MIG welding, but we do some TIG welding as well, which is a little more precise. Um, metal finishing and grinding. So once all that all that uh, furniture is welded together, uh, it needs to be cleaned up and, and prepared to go into painting. And that's a very important step, getting all those welds smooth and um, ready to go to the next step. Uh, powder coating and metal hand painting. So we do powder coat everything here for the sake of durability and then uh, we hand paint over the top to give it a little bit of added depth and character. Wood finishing. So we don't do uh, any wood fabrication here in Boone. Um, the uh, finished, the, the pieces come to us uh, already sawn and, and shaped. Uh, we apply the finish to it to the customers request and uh, send it out the door. And then obviously assembly and packaging, and we touched on that a little bit. Um, on the administrative side, uh, we obviously have customer service staff that is um, helping our uh, furniture stores and helping sales reps throughout the day. Um, opportunities there. Um, product design opportunities. Uh, we are introducing new product all the time for ourselves, and we uh, design product for uh, other manufacturers um, all the time. Uh, we have sales opportunities. We have a sales force that uh, is on the road throughout the entire U.S. visiting stores and um, helping sell Charleston Forge to as many, as many individuals as they can. Um, production supervision. Um, and then obviously we have our accounting staff. And one thing I didn't list here uh, was our photography and marketing um, staff as well. So um, just a little bit of a snapshot on uh, what we do. Um, get this back here. Let's see. Do you have any questions? Okay. And then 
Andrew, can you hear me okay? Yes. So we had uh, an issue with the link, so we had some some uh, folks coming in in the middle of the presentation, but I just want to let everybody know that this has been recorded, so you can watch it on our employer uh, spotlight page, which is actually is up for career connections. As far as questions, uh, we have a pretty diverse background as far as programs, and uh, you mentioned a lot of jobs that could fall into a lot of our programs. So do you usually take a lot of applicants that already have experience, or do you do in-house training? How does it work for some of those jobs? So um, for the majority of jobs that we do, we're doing in-house training. Um, you know, I would say the, uh, the exception uh, to that might be uh, somebody coming in with some welding experience uh, will be able to move more. Um, quickly and familiarity with what they're doing and, you know, quite frankly, um, more quickly um, through or up in the pace scale. Uh, so uh, otherwise, we, we essentially plan to um, to train for all of our positions and um, most specifically, you know, the blacksmithing and forging positions. Those are very specific to what we do and um, pretty much everybody starts out at the same level there in terms of skill. Thank you. We have a chat question. Seems like a wonderful opportunity. Are you seeking more full-time or part-time? Um, we, we try to uh, hire full-time. Um, however, uh, we, uh, let me, let me rephrase that. We love the opportunity to bring somebody on and have them grow into a full-time position. Um, as with any business, our, our demand fluctuates. So uh, we have part-time opportunities all the time, um, if somebody has a summer available or somebody has, um, you know, four hours they can give, you know, several days a week, uh, that can be meaningful to us. So we certainly would like to talk to anybody that's got some time available and is interesting, interested. Okay. And while we're waiting for the next question, well, first I would like to encourage anybody who has a question that feel free to uh, unmute your mic if you want to raise your hand like this, you can. And you can also post your questions on the chat box. So feel free to do that. Um, as far um, as your needs, go ahead. I was, one, one thing I was going to say is um, you know, under more normal, normal circumstances, we would invite anybody to just uh, set up a time to come in and see what we do firsthand. Um, certainly no obligation um, for, you know, uh, or expectation that there be an interest in employment, but we love to show off what we do. And um, hopefully when we're out of the woods with COVID, we can do more of that um, ideally this summer. So we would welcome anybody to come in and see what we do. And you can certainly get in touch with me to do that. Great. As far as your need, what would you say is your highest need right now as far as uh, prospective em employee? Um, so any of the metal fabrication uh, roles, specifically uh, forging and blacksmithing. Um, that just right now is where we could use some help. So uh, folks are interested in learning that skill and helping us produce you know, beautiful furniture. Uh, there's a need there. Um, and um, on the metal cutting side as well, I'd say that those two areas are probably the greatest need right now. Thank you. Any other questions from the participants or Sarah? Oh, we had a long one here. Let's see. Yeah. Can you read that? Oh, uh, yeah, it got snuck away from me there before I could read the whole thing. I don't know how to get it back. So I'll read it uh, out loud if you don't mind. So I haven't done. Uh, okay, Jimmy, I'll let you know that, that this guy is a really good guy. He's actually my neighbor. Hey, how are you, Keith? <laughs> I'm good, Andy. Hope you are, buddy. Doing fine. I'm so sorry, Andrew. We'll we'll find you a proper place <laughs> to live. <laughs> Thank you, Keith. So, having done hiring in the past, sometimes it is easier to hire someone brand new versus someone with training. Which works uh, Which works better for you? A blank slate that is eager to learn, or someone who has quite a bit of of uh, rounded and seasoned knowledge? Uh, good question. Uh, I, you know, I don't think there's necessarily one or the other. Um, what we do is very specialized. So anybody that comes in with experience needs to come in with a willingness to listen and learn and possibly do some things differently. Um, but we're certainly not afraid of a blank slate. So um, I think you know either, quite frankly. 
That's great because uh, what happens a lot of times is uh, we, we train students and they have the training, but they don't have the experience to back up that, you know, that training. And it can create situations where it's a little harder to get that first job to really get that experience and uh, continue into the career path. So I appreciate that you're willing to hire folks with different levels of experience and train them and get them up to speed to do what they need to do and be successful. Sure. And one thing I'll add there is, you know, our most valuable employees are our most versatile. So you can see in the video that we do a lot of different things. Um, if somebody is interested in learning multiple aspects of craftsmanship, uh, they become tremendously valuable to us. We're a small business, so we move people around a lot and um, having those people um, that are, you know, Jacks and Jills of all trades is hugely, um, hugely important to us. So if, if you saw the video and thought, man, I'd really like to learn how to do wood finishing and um, upholstery and welding, um, then uh, that, that is a wonderful thing for us, for us both. So. Great. So a couple of things. Uh, Justin Harris says, thank you for working with us last year during a trade-up program. We look forward to a continued relationship. Yep. Yep. That was and a good program. Yep, good. And so for folks that are looking for uh, applying for a job, what is the best thing to do would be to visit your page and go to an employment link or how, how would you recommend? Yeah, uh, so good question. Um, probably uh, the best thing they could do is certainly what you just said. Uh, they could certainly call and um, you know, inquire that way to see what positions are available. Um, you can reach out to me directly. I don't know, Jimmy, is there a way to share my contacts as part of this presentation or? Yes, we can do it two ways. One is you can put it on the chat box. Um, and do you have that open available where you can type that in? Probably in worst case yes. scenario, uh, Sarah or I could just take your email from our uh, email exchange and post it there. Okay. So okay. you said your email and what else? Phone number? My phone number, yeah. Okay. Do you want to say that uh, phone number? And again, this is going to be recorded and put on our YouTube channel. So whatever phone you want to share, if it's the front desk instead of your. Sure. Your... Yeah, I'll give you the main number is 828 264 zero one zero zero okay so eight two eight two six four zero one zero 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 one zero zero okay i'll show that all right any other questions or comments and sarah if you could share his email on the chat box Well, we would like to thank you to, you know, for presenting and talking to us about the opportunities that we have for our students in our community. Uh, it seems like you have some great products and great opportunities for people to grow in the career path, or, or at least try and see if there's something that they want to do. And since you said that people can cross train, uh, it seems like you offer a, a good variety that folks can look into uh, possibilities of, you know, taking different directions. So thanks so much for that. And last questions before we finish the presentation. Thank Party you, Robert. Test pieces, yes, yes, for sure, for sure. All right, well, thank you, Andrew, for your time and expertise. And again, if you need anything from Call Community College, please let us know. You have our several emails uh, from different folks that work at Call Community College, so let us know if you need anything. Thanks again. Have a good afternoon. Thank you, everyone, for participating. Uh, Sarah has posted the email account on the chat, so feel free to copy that and send them a message.